Hello guys, in this video we will talk about pattern matching. So what we have here is, let's say we have two string which one is, let's say we will name this as text and the text here I am writing is Naveen Reddy. So let's say we have a text called as Naveen Reddy and then I have one more string here called as pattern and the pattern I am using here is let's say VIN. Okay. So I want to verify that this pattern here is there in this string or not. That's it. If you have this string, okay, I will write something in the if, if condition. By default, let's say it is true. If it is there, then I will print. Okay, let me remove these brackets. So if it is there, I will print pattern found, or I will print else. It will. I will print. Uh, not found. Right? That's it. That, that's what we want to do now. So for that, what we'll do is, since I'm writing every time true, so obviously the output will be true, right? Now to do this thing, we'll be we'll be writing this code in two parts. So the first part of the video will will use some inbuilt functions and we'll try to find this. In the second part of the video, we'll talk about the way without using inner met, uh, the inbuilt methods. Normally when you go to interviews and they will ask you a question, you know, you have to write a code to, 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 to match this pattern or you have to find a pattern in a particular text. So if they don't mention that you cannot use any inbuilt classes or, or methods, then you can go with the first way. But if they mention, you know, they, they purposefully mention on the paper that you cannot use inbuilt classes or methods. So in that scenario, you have to go for the you know lengthy way, the what do you say, the proper proper way. Now to use inbuilt method and classes, what we have is, so if you can see, there's uh let, let's say, uh let's say we have a text here, so this text will have lots of methods, right? So this text is the object of string now, and if you say text dot, you can see there are lots of methods, and in those methods there is something called as contains. So this contains, in contains you have to pass a string and if th that string matches with the exist or that if that string is contains in the existing string, it will return you true. So if this pattern is there in the text, it will give you true. Let me just give a semicolon. So it will return you true, right? So what we can do is we can say boolean. Uh, result equal to text dot contains and the pattern and if it returns true so we have to say instead of true we have to say returns or result so if it returns true it will print pattern found or if it return not found okay now if I run this query and that's what we got the output as pattern found let's change the value let me just write it as v i n e and if I run this query it says not found okay let's change it again let me say this is uh, just red, it's there in ready. So if you run this, it says pattern found. Okay, so this is the one way. But the problem is we have used a inbuilt method and inbuilt class. Okay, so if you don't want to use inbuilt method in class, we'll we'll write a structured code here. But that I'll be doing in the second part of the tutorial. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.